two of the most famous rendering engines on the market nowadays are V-Ray and Inkscape. So what do you think? Which one offers better results? V-Ray is a rendering engine that collaborates with SketchUp to deliver realistic renders. It is also used in the VFX and filmmaking. It is one of the most powerful products in the design industry. On the other hand, Inkscape offers photorealistic renders using the latest techniques for better results. It was designed in 2013 and since 2015 the software gained a lot of success, used in more than 80 countries and it is on the list of the top architectural firms. It collaborates with multiple BIM and CAD software. V-Ray is considered as a tool or plugin. It collaborates with SketchUp. All the modeling is made with SketchUp. V-Ray is used only for the rendering part. Its interface is simple and it is integrated with the interface of SketchUp. It doesn't contain a lot of tools and options. The very first option that the user needs to manage is the V-Ray Asset Editor, with which you can change the materials of any object. V-Ray contains a large variation of materials for the interior and exterior, as well as natural or artificial. By choosing the material, the user can also configure it by controlling the color of the material, the opacity, the reflection, the reflection, add in more texture and other different options. It is also possible to download and export materials in V-Ray according to the project needs. In addition, SketchUp offers different objects for the lighting, such as sunlight, spotlight, rectangle light, sphere light, IES light, omni light, and dome light. All these types can be controlled and customized. The user can specify the intensity of the light, the color, the size as basic parameters. V-Ray also has another good option, which is Asset Creation, which allows the user to have multiple creation options according to the needs of your project. Some of these creations are extra texture or more realistic renders, global illumination to add more light, shadows, self-illumination, background, and others. The software also has photo treatment option, which can be done after the render to modify exposure, contrast, color balance, and saturation. On the other hand, Inkscape has a great option, which is virtual reality, which helps users reduce time and money for their clients. This option gives the possibility to walk inside the project and discover all aspects and details of the design. This way, the client can have a real vision of the result before construction, which entails making changes easily and avoid errors at work. In addition, this option makes the user experience the irresistible reality. It works by connecting headphones of virtual reality like Oculus Rift S or HTC Vive. All that enables the user to discover the project from another aspect. Inkscape works perfectly in big-scale projects with the same workflow for small projects and with the same quality and results. The software is also a great coordination tool between different parts of the project. It also contributes to the detection of the collusion to early avoid making mistakes on the project. Thanks to real-time option, the user gets to do guide visit inside the project to navigate and check all the details from different angles. It is also a good option to see the different modifications applied on the model directly. Collaborative annotation is another great tool in Inkscape. This option allows the user to publish any changes related to the project and all parts of the project get notified. The user can also adjust the clouds, density, variety for better ambience to match the scene. This change will affect the brightness of the render, it is also possible to control the time of the day, add some effect, manage the depth of field, and so much more. This software has a variety of objects, vegetation, people, furniture, accessories, vehicles, lightings, and buildings. It works on Revit, SketchUp, ArchiCAD, Rhino, and Vectorwork. VR offers a lot of settings. The user can specify the rendering engine, CPU, or GPU. It is also possible to specify the quality from low, medium to high. As for the camera, the user can choose from three types standard, VR spherical camera, or VR cube map. The user can also activate or deactivate the exposure and even specify its value, which has a relation with the camera's sensitivity to the light. It is also possible to use the DOF or the depth of field and effects. Additionally, it is possible to specify the resolution of the image and choose one of the options that the aspect ratio offers and add a background for external rendering. Vray also offers other advanced settings for professional work, such as the noiser 
Register, Global Illumination, Advanced Camera Parameters, Color Mapping, etc. As for Inkscape, it also offers a lot of settings, starting with button and mouse configuration to settings related to rendering style. This option can help users change the way of rendering in Inkscape. This option can help the users to change the way of rendering in Inkscape by changing the outline and the mode. Inkscape offers three kinds of modes, a white mode with an outline of 0%, a white mode with an outline of 25%, or a white mode with an outline of 75%. The user can also choose polystyrol mode and set up the transmission which controls the transmission of light through geometry. When using these two modes, it is better to use the dump maps option for better rendering results. Learning how to use V-Ray is completely easy. For a beginner, it doesn't take a lot of time to understand the few options and tools that exist, but for more advanced work and for more realistic renders, it is better to have training or to watch tutorials to get to know the different configurations and to have more detailed work. Inkscape is so easy to handle, to work with and to configure. The tools and the options are simple, so it doesn't require any training, and it is the perfect software for students and beginners in the design industry. V-Ray is used a lot in, in the design industry by architects and interior designers. It is also used in the filmmaking industry, media, entertainment, and also automotive. As for Inkscape, it is used a lot in the construction field, in the interior design industry, landscape architecture, and furniture design. V-Ray has a great strong rendering engine. The results are so close to reality, especially for the interior design parts. V-Ray pays a lot of importance to the materials, lighting, settings before the renders, and a lot of other configurations related to other renders such as adding texture, reflection, and refraction. All these factors plays a huge role in the results later. It is also possible to edit the render later in the same window. There is an option to edit the lighting, the contrast, the balance of the colors and the saturation, no need to use another software for photo treatment. A simple rendering can take only a few minutes, but if the project is big with a lot of objects and with more advanced settings, the render can take some time. Inkscape can render any type of project, interior and exterior, landscape, hotels, airports, country house, etc. The software also comes with a large library full of components. It is also compatible with the component and the textures of the modeling software. The results of the rendering are realistic. The rendering engine is provided with a pack of settings to control lighting, reflection, time, and sun direction for better results. Although V-Ray offers an animation option, it is not advanced. It is made only to do small animations or a small video around an object. Inkscape, on the other hand, offers animation and video options and also panoramic pictures, so it is a complete rendering software. V-Ray is definitely a strong engine. For beginners and students, it is possible to use a medium configuration computer for a medium work. As for better and more advanced work, especially for professionals and companies, it is better to use a workstation with a strong processor and two graphic cards and also an advanced ventilation system. The same case for Inkscape, it is better to use a workstation especially when users work on a big urban project to accelerate the workflow and to have quick results. V-Ray is available on Windows and Mac and you can get it for $350 per year. On the other hand, you can get Inkscape for $47 per month or you can get it for $679 per year with 14 days trial for free to test the software before buying it. Also, the software is available on Windows, no Mac version or iOS until now.